Hello friends, I'm going to teach you how to do gua sha at home. Gua sha is um, a massage sort of acupressure uh, technique that involves using a tool and um, a lubricant like oil. I like to use coconut oil and it helps release muscle tension and uh, bring extra circulation of chi and blood to the area of your body where you do it. Um, and it's good for lymphatic drainage. Um, it can ease pain, stiffness. It can help if you have had swollen glands. Um, if you've been sick, it's a good thing to do when you're on the mend to help bring about um, more flow of chi and blood, clear out the stagnation. I'm gonna show you how to do it on your neck um, where a lot of people hold tension. You can do it on your jaw. You can do it on um, the, under the collarbone. This is also part of the lung channel in Chinese medicine. Um, and you can do it out here, all the way through here is a good thing to do if you're having respiratory issues. Um, the only contraindications for gua sha are to not do it too hard um, because you will cause um, bruising. You'll get little purple and red um, spots to come up, which will heal like a bruise, but let's not take it to the extreme. And if you are on blood thinners or if you're very weak, um, this might not be a good method for you. If you're on blood thinners, you're more likely to bruise. Um, so take it easy. Um, so we're, I'm gonna show you on the neck. Um, I'm gonna do it with my hand first, just rubbing. You can see on me that already I'm turning red. We call that sha in Chinese medicine. And that's because I really need gua sha. <laughs> my neck's been really stiff. I have been sick. I am getting better. But um, this is a good therapy for me right now. And because I'm getting Sha with just a little bit of pressure, I'm a good demo for you because you're gonna see some, some color and that's good. So the typical way that I was taught in acupuncture school how to do Gua Sha is with a Chinese soup spoon. So if you have that, that's a great thing to use. You may not have that at home. Don't go to the store, you don't need to. I bet you have something else you can use. Uh, you can use like a nice smooth river stone. If you're someone like me who sometimes collects these, that'll do it, that'll work. Uh, you could also use a smooth edged button from your sewing kit, uh, that's an option. Or, um, hey, you can even use a lighter, man. Uh, as long as it has like a nice smooth edge. I tried a few other things like a metal spoon. My Metal spoons are not good, they're too sharp. They're too like, um, the edge is too thin. Um, you don't, it's not meant to hurt. It's supposed to feel like a deep massage. So what you do is you get some coconut oil. You can use other stuff. You could use jojoba oil. You could probably use, you could use olive oil. Um, you could use massage oil or lotion, that's fine. Lotion might get a little sticky. You'll, you'll figure it out. Um, I'm using coconut oil, so you know, you want it to kind of like melt up in your fingers a little bit. And then I'll show you my jaw and my neck. Um, so you can see how it goes. You just rub it on the area you're gonna do. It's, you can do it like, I sometimes do this when I also have like huge bags under my eyes. You can do your temples. They're very, they're usually tender though. Be, don't do it too much on your temples. You can do your forehead, you can do anything, just in moderation. All right, so you have your oil on, and then you just take your implement, and you just wanna, um, you just wanna go with kind of the grain of the muscles. You know, if you think your neck muscles, obviously they go kind of like that, you can see that. Um, and you just wanna rub. Now the pressure I'm using is not enough to hurt, it feels good. Um, but I'm not, I'm not doing it lightly on the skin. I'm pushing down maybe an eighth of an inch, you know, like, like you want to get in the muscle. You don't just want to be massaging the skin. So look, I'm getting so much sha right away. That's because my neck has been so stiff while I've been sick. Also, I've been off my usual yoga routine and other things that usually help my neck. Um, I'm just switching to the other side because it's already pretty tender for me. But man, it's gonna feel so good after. So you can see lots of sha coming up. And again, I'm just, it's just a gentle but a firm stroke. 
Not painful, but I feel it. Oh, I'm getting starting to get some petechia. See that? So for me, I want to stop at that point because I don't want hickeys all over my neck. Um, this side I haven't got that yet. You can you can do this area. Just don't like hurt your vocal, your voice box thingy, larynx. <laughs> um, you can go under your collarbone. This is the lung channel, so that's good. Helps clear out your lungs. It's easier for me to take a deep breath already. Lots of sha there. I uh, can go all the way over to here. This is the lung channel too. This is a good area for me i don't have as much shot there do i you might though um you can have a buddy do your back and that feels really good um when you go by the spine just go on either side of it you know if this is the spine you go like here and here it's stripes going down outward of the spine oh yeah and i said i'd show you the jaw this is great for people who have tmj Sorry, it took like a pandemic for me to show you guys this. I feel like I should have shown you before. So for me, I do have jaw tension. You can see some shot and it's it's ropey for sure. But uh, feels nice. It's kind of intense to this side. And then if you really want to treat yourself nice, um, you can put some water in the kettle and take a clean washcloth and, you know, fill up a little bowl of hot water, put the washcloth in, obviously not boiling water, but hot, squeeze out the extra and like put it on your face and it's like steamy and warm. It feels so nice. And that helps you also get the oil off. But I don't know. I don't think... That is not necessary. That's some, yeah, that's some shaw. Wow, really red. I need this. Glad that um, I wanted to show you guys this. <laughs> so red. So this redness will last for a little bit and then it'll just fade away, except these little dots will probably stick around because I did give myself a little patechia there and maybe a little there. That's okay. Um, I know if I do, if I really go into the traps here, it's going to get purple pretty quick, but it's a good thing to do. So, um, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, the stone's fine. I don't know. You guys might even find, if you find other tools that work really well, you can put them in the comments. Um, that has been our instructional on gua sha or Chinese medicine scraping technique. Um, be safe, do it well. Uh, I'm here if you need me. Bye.